I'm Shamel Lane and I'm here for twopeasinabucket.com and I'm here with the February edition of 4x6 Photo Love. It's the second month of the year which means we're going to scrub up two 4x6 photos on our layout. By the time we get to December we'll be doing quite a few more. So here's our first page to start us off and we're going to um, work with the two photos together in one block, both the same direction and one long block of pattern paper and then some other bits of pattern paper yes. around. So this is um, the original layout. I'm going to walk you through a second layout and then there are several different examples at the end for you to see uh, different takes on this look. The design principle behind this month's class is one of pairs. We're using a pair of photos which is great for showing two elements of one event like a wide shot and a detailed picture or two similar scenes with the focus on two different elements in the frame. But we're also going to use two blocks of paper to direct the viewer's eye to the focus of our page. Last month we talked about the top left corner being the first place we look, provided we learn to read from the left to the right of a page. So our first pattern paper block starts there in the top left corner. Instead of placing our most important element in that space, we're going to use it to draw the eye down to the bottom half of the page and there a second block of paper will intersect or overlap the first block. This grabs the attention again and changes the direction of viewing, so now the path is going to go across the page to the right. This leaves us with a big amount of space in the middle, above and to the right of the pair of paper blocks that become the focus of the page. That's where we'll put our pair of photographs and the eye will go right to them. We'll also add our other important page elements like the title and the journaling along this path of the is created by the arrows. Keeping everything in the same visual path means we won't miss any important details. Once those items have their place, we can find spots around the edge of this outline to add embellishment, again placing it close to the visual path from the top left, down the page, and across to the right. In the next 10 minutes, I'm going to walk you through exactly how I made this layout. Here's how. I start with a 12 by 12 sheet of solid colored cardstock for the background and two 4 by 6 photos which I'm going to mat on a solid colored cardstock. I'm using this to that adhesives by American Crafts. I'm just going to leave a small border. And I'm going to use my trimmer to cut here and here. Now I need a long strip of pattern paper to go along here. And I'm going to use this blue check by Cosmo Cricut. That's the backside of the Material Girl in stitches. This is nice blue check. just look to see how much I want to take off. I want to trim it to about here. Okay. I'm going to use a Ranger Distress Ink and Vintage Photo with the foam ink, ink applicator to go around the corner or the edges of all my paper pieces. And I'll adhere that right to the page, pretty much evenly spaced. I'm actually going to come in a little bit here. There we go. Now, I want to add another strip of paper that's going to go across here. So I'm going to use some red dots. I only have this much left of this sheet, so I'm going to go ahead and trim off this part that's all punched so I know what I have to work with. And then I want it, I don't want it to be so wide. I want to cut to about here. So I'm going to trim across here. Now this isn't wide. I want it to go further across. But it's going to be underneath the photo, so I'm just going to cut and 
that will make it go all the way across the page. Because it will be covered up. This red polka dot was from the Lush collection by um, My Mind's Eye. So it's a slightly older paper, uh, but you might have it in your stash or you can use any other polka dot or any other pattern that you like. So now it won't be obvious that, um, that that piece is cut. I also want a skinnier strip to go all the way across. And I kind of like the idea of having a transparent layer, so I'm just going to cut a, a strip across here. Just a straight line of the transparency. So I have this piece, and it's going to go oh, put that side up. So just trim a little bit off this side. There we go. And because this is clear, I'm going to put the adhesive here where it will be hidden by the photo. I'm going to go right to the edge on one side and then press down. There we go. And then I want another little strip of pattern paper up here. And for that, I'm going to cut a piece from this map and I'm going to try and get the right corner here to get New York on the map. This is called Jet Set and it's by the, um, it's in the documentary collection at Studio Calico, which is available at Two Peas in a Bucket. I'm going to take it down to about here. And take a little bit off this side. There we go. So I've got a piece about like that. You can use any pattern paper, obviously it doesn't have to be a map. I just thought it would work well with these pictures from the Statue of Liberty. Just look at where it's going to go. So that it's in line with the photo. And I want it about there. Okay, now I'm ready to go ahead and adhere the picture. majority of the uh, framework for the layout done. I'm going to add a title and embellishment here and then some smaller embellishments around to the side. I want to add a little bit more color so I'm going to cut one strip from this orange paper. It's also Studio Calico and it's called Souvenir. But I'm using the back side which is orange. here it's a bit too big so I'll mark it with my finger where I want it to be cut and this base is going to go on top of the photo rather than underneath just a tiny little bit no oh, I want the other way around so I get that straight edge there And then I have these other two small pieces so that I can dot that same pattern in a triangle around the picture. So I'm going to put one down here and one over here. I'm going to cut this one a little bit smaller. So now these three pieces will draw your eye into the photo. And I'm going to add some red into this, this embellishment and some labels. I'm going to use a oval label that's going to mostly be covered up by the title over here. 
and then a circle on each one of these. And then I'm going to use a star label and I'll come back and put one in on the title as well for title I'm using Thickers by American Crafts I'm going to spell it out here Once your title's done, you'll need to add your journaling. You can either use the space in the top right corner of the page above the photographs, or you can write directly on the pattern paper. The last step is a little bit of extra color from some paint. I use the uh, Ranger ink paint dabbers and a dry coarse brush and just dip it in the paint and then use my finger to flick the paint onto the page. Um, and I'm just doing this over the little clusters of embellishment. If you don't want to get any paint on your photographs, just put a piece of paper over the top of them and you can still uh, add it to the rest of the page without getting any paint over the picture. It just depends on what kind of look you like with the paint. And I just added an adhesive pearl to the top of each star. So there's a little something special on t the top layer. You can add uh, rhinestones, gems, pearls, any little embellishment. You could use brads or anything else. These are just, uh, you just peel and stick them so they're nice and easy. So that's everything finished and you can find three versions of the page here and then a selection of others at twopeasinabucket.com. It's your turn now, so you have until March 29th to make your page for this month's class and upload it to the gallery at Two Peas, and one lucky winner will win a prize. So thanks for joining us at twopeasinabucket.com.